Hey everyone, Sontad here, and if you want to learn about Rune Factory 4 crafting without going through hours of video, then you've come to the right place, because I just made an infographic, which I'm quite proud of, that I wanted to talk about here, um, and with this we should be able to go through all the main points for crafting in about 5 or 10 minutes, uh, and I think that's a nice introduction, um, or a refresher, depending on where you're at and how much you know. Uh, we should go through all the main points here. So, without further ado, crafting. Um, so, you can upgrade materials. You can upgrade with materials to give bonuses to different equipment. Um, here are some nice ones. So, some work for all equipment, some only work for armor, and some only work for weapons. Uh, and these are some of the good ones that I like. Um, remember, though, that when you upgrade with the same materials, you have diminished effects each time. So, using the same one has lower effects for each piece of equipment. But, you can use up to three materials when you're crafting. So here we're going to make a small shield with three fire room scales. And if you do this, you get the full effects of all three, and you're still level one, giving you full upgrade slots. To make sure it works properly, you want to talk to Barrett, and he'll tell you that you have those three items used. And with this, you can get some really, really strong items at level one. You can also get extra stats from using rare or high level materials. So different, material, different equipment have different bonuses. So weapons, gloves, and earrings will increase your attack and magic attack, uh, which is very nice. It's not critical, but it's nice to get if you can get them. Armor will give you defense and or magic defense. This really isn't too important though. Uh, you can ask Barrett, and Barrett will tell you different things depending on how big your bonuses are. And at max bonus, he'll tell you that things are incredible, which is incredible. As for headgear, armor, and shields, we can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, you can change equipment appearance by using it in crafting. So here we have the recipe for a small shield. If you put in this item, the monkey plush, for example, you'll get an item that looks like the small shield, but with the stats of the monkey plush, which you can see here. Small shield, looks like a small shield, but it has the 50% love res from the monkey plush. To make sure it works, you can talk to Barrett, and he'll say that it looks like the small shield, but has the abilities of a monkey plush. As for how we can use this to make the best equipment, well, it's a three-step process. First, we make anything, anything really bad. Um, we're going to make the small shield with three good materials we want to use. So here we're going to use fire and scale for simplicity. Then we're going to take this small shield with the three fire and scales and put them when we craft a recipe with good stats. So these five are the recipe for this really good shield, the rune shield, and we're going to put in this small shield we made in step one. And if you do this properly, we should get an item that looks like a rune shield, but with the stats of a small shield, which is pretty bad. But then we're gonna take this rune shield and we're gonna use this to make a nice looking item. So this is the recipe for this element shield. If you do this, if you put this rune shield from step two in here, we'll get an element shield with the stats of a rune shield and those three extra items, which is gonna be very, very good. That's how you make the best equipment uh, and then you can upgrade them as you wish. Now, about Millie Apple and Resistance. So these are some of the best upgrading crafting items. So Millie Apple decreases resistance, but Object X reverses stat changes of everything you use after for upgrading crafting. Using them together lets you maximize your resistances. So what you want to do is you want to use one Object X and two Millie Apples when you're crafting. And then you want to talk to Barrett. And you want to make sure Barrett says that Object X, Millie Apple, and Millie Apple were used in crafting. You need to make sure it's in this order. It's very, very important. If it works properly, you should check your stats and you should say 21% fire, water, earth, wind, light, and dark res. It's more like 20%, but it'll say 21%, and that's how you know it works. This way, you get 21% for a level 1 item for one piece of equipment, and then you can still upgrade it. Uh, after that, you might want to use one or merely apple, which will get you more resistance and bring up to 30%. Uh, after that, you'll probably want to use an object X at some point, uh, because without it, um, your upgrades will still be reversed. You might want to put it back to normal with the object X, or you can use the tenfold steel. Um, the tenfold steel also cancels out the previous effects, and let's use the effects of a tenfold steel, which makes your previous item stronger. Now, Fusion accessories are really, really good, really, really important, um, because you can get up to three bonus abilities by adding more shoes or accessories when you're crafting new shoes or accessories. So here we have the recipe for a magic ring, this platinum and magic crystal. 
And then we're gonna put in three extra items, happy ring, champs bolt, and heart pendant. If you do this, you should have the stats and appearance of the magic ring, but we should have the abilities of all four of these items. To make sure it works, ask Barrett. He'll serve as three items we're used in crafting, and it should look like the magic ring, and that way you'll have all four abilities, which can be really, really strong. Um, so some good shoe ones that I would recommend would be the Rocket Wing, the Ghost Boots and the Strider Boots and the Seven Boots. So the first two make you faster, the third one increases the length of your dash attacks, and the last one makes you not do the dash attack, the attack after you do actually do the dash. Uh, as for accessories, there are a lot, a lot of really, really good options. Um, here are some recommendations, um, but there are so many good ones. I recommend you to try them out yourself. As for weapons, um, so like headgear, armor, and shields, you can change their appearance by putting in different things to the recipe. You can also use a light ore to change between different types. So here you can use daggers and daggers, normally no issue. But if you want to use, for example, a hammer onto the daggers, you want to use a light ore. This way you get the stats of the really, really strong hammer and get, in this case, almost 3,000 more attack using the light ore to use the hammer will increase your attack by a lot. Um, as for elements, um, elements do, some, do a lot of really cool things and you can change them by crafting or upgrading with elemental crystals. So this, the most obvious to use is to use enemy weaknesses. So these orcs resist earth and are weak to wind. So with wind you do two to three times more damage just by changing your element. Um, it also changes your attack color. So fire crystals make your attacks red, water crystals make your attacks blue. If you like blue, you can use water. And finally, different elements give different bonus effects. So light produces enemy defenses to do more damage, for example, while wind makes you attack faster. Uh, nice for tools, for example. Uh, next up, we have staffs. So different materials can give you different powerful attacks, and there are lots and lots of really, really cool options. Here are some I really like. Um, once you do those, you can also finish off with other materials that will make you faster, make your target attacks faster, and here are some examples of the ones that make you fast. And finally, um, cooking is really important and underrated. Um, they can give you huge effects. For example, this gold juice will increase your magical damage by almost 60%, which is huge, and give you huge resistances. Um, different food do different things. So glitter sashimi and gold juice are good for attacking. Gold juice and prelude to love are good for defense. And relaxed tea and formulate are really, really nice if you want to craft a lot of stuff because the Former gives you more RP to craft, and the latter reduces your HP to one, which will let you craft forever with a normal RP. Uh, each level of food increases their effects by 12.5%, and additional items grant extra effects on top of that. So the turnip increases your strength, and cabbage increases your intelligence, and so on. And that should be it. That's crafting in a few minutes. Uh, here's more details over here, video series. This is it, the Automine Compendium, with all the actual hard data to look at. Um, I made a set builder calculator, which you can see there. And finally, I would love it if you subscribe. We're in Factory 5 content incoming. And thank you all for watching.